Hey guys, just wanted to say g'day. Brenton Thwaites here. I'm Savannah Welch. Alan Richardson here. Arn and Joe. Joshua Orpin. It's Maris Lewis. Kerm Walters. Jayla Cargo. Tegan Croft. I play Dick Grayson in Titans. Some of my know me as Hawk. Barbara Gordon. And Nightwing and Robin. I play Superboy. Starfire. Blackfire. Tim Drake. Red Hood. Rachel Roth. We've got some big news for you guys. We're back. Titans is back. We're coming. We're shooting season three. We are on set. And we are making the magic happen. So get ready for some big surprises. Season three is gonna be dark, mysterious, exciting, heartbreaking. That's not exciting for anyone, is it? It's gonna be action-packed, fun, and the cast can't wait for you to see it. It's gonna be big. It's bananas, and I mean bananas. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. The season three of Titans is coming this August on our new home, HBO Max. And you heard it here first. See you soon. Titans are back, bitches! Ladies, gentlemen, titans, welcome back to a, a mini kind of video, I suppose. And this is going right off the back of what you just saw at the beginning there. And unfortunately, that doesn't advertise too much, and we're going to get into that. It, it does give us a couple of things that, you know me, I, I could talk about it, believe it or not. So... You know, let me give some backstory here, and this isn't, um, I'm not trying to rain on the parade, by the way, because I think this is completely the way I'm kind of feeling right now, is me hyping up my expectations too much for what could have been today. So let me put it this way, if you're not in the know, all of us who kind of are a bit more in the know, we're really, really, really kind of looking forward to today because it was teased and hyped up quite a bit, not only by uh, the socials of Titans, there was literally a countdown. I don't blame them by the way at all because I would, I would even for that video. It's, they're excited to get this out to us. But the marketing for Titans has always been kind of weird, like really weird, for example, leaving it to the day, well, this is an exaggeration, but a few days before for. This is the same for Doom Patrol, by the way, and this goes all the way back to DC Universe, uh, to not release a, a poster or a trailer or something until that late in, like a week or so before, a few days before. And, you know, with this, we got the release date, and it's what we've spoken about before, August. And as I said, stay tuned, stay tuned, because we got to see Barbara Gordon in her look there, even though it's everything we would expect and whatnot. But yeah, I, I just, I, I have to say it, as a really big Titans fan, and just questioning the marketing here, and this has been something that's been going on for a long time now, it really does baffle me. They filmed like over 70 to 80 plus percent of the season, and it's coming out in August, and, and this does signify that we are going to get more ramped up marketing material. I've said this in my Everything We Know About Titan Season 3 video, we're gonna get more from here on out. This was kind of the catalyst. It's just, I think it's a bit of a shame to kind of hype something up like that, and we don't even have a poster. Not, not, not even a poster. I don't want to sound ungrateful, I really don't. I just kind of expected a bit more. And it's interesting as well that it just gave us the release month, August. No no specific date? That, that's a bit confusing to me. So not to mention, it is kind of strange how we didn't even have Ryan Potter or Minka Kelly in that as well. Like, you could argue maybe they just weren't available, but if you know a little bit about Ryan Potter, you know, whether there's tweets on his Twitter, and this goes back a couple of months, people were saying, oh, you know, something about, is Hope Gar gets more storyline this season, and can you tease anything? He replies back saying, what storyline? Laughing face. That kind of gives me a clue as to uh, maybe why that's, um, he's not in the video. I, I, that's speculation, by the way. And as for Minka Kelly, she's probably just not around. Minka Kelly plays Dove, by the way. And I'm calling it, man. I could be wrong here. And I'm not definitively calling it. I've got a couple of ideas. I think she's gonna die. Either that or she just leaves and Hank just carries on, even though he's not so into Mega being Hawk right now. But Minka Kelly... I'm thinking she's gonna die. I know this is random speculation in the middle of the video, but I guess it's relevant because she's not in this video. But you know, I'm gonna get over myself now. Stop whining like a little entitled brat. You big titans, come on, give us something. <laughs> but you did, you did. You gave us a cast message. One thing I do wanna say is I, I really felt the cast energy for that. They're, they're really excited to get it out to us. I think they're aware that we're starving for content. I think this is why I'm kind of feeling the way I am. And a lot of other people, by the way, as well. Um, it, it, it's just that we we're not getting too much. And I think that is kind of making us... I feel like I'm turning into a piranha, man. So first of all, I just wanted to talk about a couple of looks. And there's been some set photos, which I haven't really covered too much. But we see Donna here. 
um, Donna Troy, and as we know, she's back to life. Now, I've been speculating for the longest time, are they, are they going to do the Troya arc? And I believe they will in some shape or form, I just don't think it's, it's going to be like spitting image armor of Troya. I think that what this tells me, and albeit that she doesn't look too different, I just feel like there's a different vibe from her. There's a different mood, and you know, with what the showrunner Greg Walker teased with, you know, her and Rachel going on an underworld journey of sorts, I, I, I feel like I'm sensing some dark vibes from uh, Donna Troy here. And another interesting thing here is that I don't think they're going to necessarily call her Troy, just because, almost with a, a translation like this, that's a bit too transparent and almost too cheesy. If you're going to do Troya, give her armor, give her a whole new thing. I feel like what they're going to do is maybe pay homage to that storyline with her just coming back and being a bit different. If any of you were fans of Arrow, uh, didn't, yeah, like when people came back from the Lazarus Pit, they were a bit darker. I'm not saying she's going to be insatiable with uh, a bloodthirst, if that makes sense. But that's what I kind of expect from Donna in some way, shape or form this season. And, you know... I know that sounds funny just with me looking at this trailer, but yeah, do you know what I mean? I, I think I think Connor Leslie's giving me those vibes, and, and my God, should, does she look good? We got Jay Lycurgo here. This is your guy, obviously, who is playing Tim Drake, and I am very happy for him. I can't wait to see him this season and see how he fits in. I, by the way, if you're getting excited for a Robin suit, I'm not saying that's not gonna happen like in the finale episode or anything, but like, I really do feel like this is the introductory season for him and he's gonna have a bench up, so to speak. And that will be like implied that he will be moving in season four in and with the Batcave team, so to speak, or the Bat family, shall we say. And that will obviously be setting up long term uh, his own spin off show where he potentially may lead his own little Team Titans team. And, but you know, they're waiting for the reception for how things unfold right now with his introduction this season. There are big plans for this universe, none properly announced, but trust me. I've got my ear to the ground and I'm hearing things. Now, when they say this is going to be an amazing season, I'm, I'm really hoping it will be. I love this show for so many reasons, but I'm not going to lie that the writing and continuity and God knows what else has been shaky at times. And, you know, maybe some people are like, why do you hate, why well, don't hate the Flash? But that's what they say. And why do you love Titans so much? I think I, well, not only is there the cast, I prefer this on so many levels. It breaks the formulaic way of how the CW tackle their scenes, not including Superman and Lois, by the way, not including Stargirl. But I feel like network television with the way the cinematography goes is so outdated now. And the production and the cinematography to Titans is very shiny to me. And granted, that shouldn't make a show quality, but I'm just explaining there why I have such a passion for this show. Um, I love the grit. I love the more maturey edge to it. Maturey, there's a word for you. And this leads me into the heartbreak comment from Anna D up there. And yeah, I think that's Minka Kelly. She's gonna die probably. And oh, imagine if it's from Scarecrow or something like that. Or is Red Hood gonna do something that maybe you could he could arguably not take back? I mean, that is that's just occurred to me off the cuff. Imagine if they make Jason. Maybe we have Minka Kelly's dove trying to reach out to him, and he shoots her. That will be a bold ass ending to an episode. Oh my god, I just had a revelation. I'm not calling it because I don't look like an idiot, but there's a somewhat prediction for you. Oh yeah, and I almost totally forgot to put this in here. This guy you're looking at it right at the end is Vincent Carthizer. We've been over this before, but he will be playing Scarecrow since the Titans are going to Gotham this season. And yeah, i just give you some look at what Jonathan Crane could look like. Here he is. I believe the quoted date or the leaked date, if you will, that scoopers have found that I've reported or before or said reportedly, thanks to the Vulcan reporter, is <laughs> what is wrong with me? August 12th. Uh, that is obviously subject to change, but the month was indeed correct. So, you know, I didn't want to give a negative vibe to this video. I just think, you know, when they film that much, you can literally put a graphic poster out, a graphical art poster or something. And, you know, I have to say, I'm very honest here on this channel. I'm dis well, underwhelmed. It's a bit disappointing. But, you know, I'm still happy nonetheless because I loved that video. I really did. It's just, I thought, okay, okay, when I first saw it, I thought, okay, images are going to come out now. At least a poster. They're going to they're gonna make another post. But they didn't. I'm just butt hurt, aren't I? I'm really butt hurt. And also, can't wait to see Savannah Welsh as uh, Barbara Gordon. And we get little glimpses of her here. And yeah, cannot wait to see that explored. The potential of that is incredible. She's already served as Batgirl, if you're not in the know. By the way, check out my Everything We Know About Titan Season 3. I go over a lot, just in case you're slightly blurred there. And there's no spoilers, don't worry. Everything is very official and whatnot. Um, so, thought I'd give this video to you guys. Just wanted to kind of outlet some 
thoughts, but also, you know, also mix in the fact that Titans is coming and now the cast have delivered this little message to us. But also, I think we all expected a bit more, but I'm going to shut up now. Titans Season 3 is coming this August, guys. Let's get some hype. And yeah, let me know what you thought about a couple of my predictions as well. Like this video if you did enjoy it. I can't imagine what I'm going to be like when the trailer does come out the first look. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.